Once upon a time, there was a poor widow who had two daughters, and she called them Snow White and Rose Red, because they were just like the flowers that bloomed on two rose bushes that stood in front of their little cottage. Now Snow White and Rose Red were as good as they were beautiful, and so gentle that all the small animals who lived in the forest were their friends. One winter evening, there was a knock at the cottage door. Open the door, Rose Red said the mother. Perhaps that's a traveler who needs shelter from the snow. So Rose Red opened the door, and there stood a great black bear. Mother, Rose Red cried out in fear. But the bear said, "Don't be afraid. I won't harm you." I am simply half frozen, and I would like to come in and get warm. Poor bear," said the mother. "Come in and lie down by the fire, but be careful not to burn your coat." Come, Snow White and Rose Red. The bear won't hurt us. So shyly the girls came near. "How do you do, sir?" said Snow White. "May I help you with your coat?" And she took a broom. And swept the snow from the bear's fur. You're very kind to an old bear, he said, and stretched out in front of the fire, growled comfortably, and went to sleep. The next night the bear was back again, and the next, and the next, and soon he was part of the family. But at last spring came, and one morning the bear said. Now I must leave. It is time to go into the woods and guard my treasure. Once the sun has warmed the earth, the dwarfs come up out of their holes and steal gold and jewels and anything else they can find. So Snow White and Rose Red said goodbye very sadly, and the bear went away, deep into the forest. One day soon afterwards. The girls were out in the woods, and while they were there, they saw a tiny man with an old, wrinkled face and a beard that was longer than his whole body. The tip of his beard was caught under a fallen tree, and he was hopping and jumping in rage. Stop standing there, stupidly staring! Sputtered the little man. Do something, you skinny, scrawny, scraggly, skin and skeleton scarecrows! Of course," said Rose Red politely. "We'll try to pull you free." And they tugged, and they tugged as hard as they could, but the beard was caught too tightly, and they couldn't get him free. Oh, you feeble-fingered, fat-headed, fumbling females! Roared the little man. You wicked, weak-witted woodworms! Can't you think of anything better? Don't be impatient," said Snow White gently. "I have thought of something better." And pulling her scissors out of her pocket, she snipped off the end of his beard. Well, the instant he was free. He grabbed a sack of gold that he had set beside the tree and marched away without one single word of thanks. A few days later, Snow White and Rose Red went out to catch some fish. There's the dwarf," said Snow White as they approached the pond. "There he is," and it was. And again, he was leaping about wildly. If you're not careful," Rose Red called. You fall in and get soaked. Careful! Screeched the little man. Be careful! Oh, you big-bodied, beetle-browed, bird-brained, blind baboon! Can't you see that a fish has caught my beard and is trying to pull me in? Oh dear," said Snow White, reaching for her scissors. "I guess I'll just have to." And she snipped off another tiny piece of beard. And freed the dwarf. Why, you bumbling beard butchering barber! 
Wasn't it enough to cut off the end of my beard without taking the middle part too? And as he said that, he snatched up a bag of pearls and stamped away. Just then, the girls heard a great flapping of wings, and ahead of them, a giant eagle swooped down and seized the dwarf. Oh, we must save him! Rose Red cried, and they grabbed the little man and held him tight, beating at the bird with their fists until at last he gave up and flew away. Oh dear! Said Snow White, that was almost the end of you. You, you, why you? Torn my best coat, and that's almost as bad. You raggedy, rascally, rose red wretch! Suddenly, there was a low growl, and a great black bear appeared. The dwarf was terrified. Don't eat me, bear! I'm I'm just a tiny, tasteless. Tough old dwarf, <laughs> take these lovely little ladies instead. But the bear gave the dwarf a single swat with his paw, and the little man sailed way over the pond and out of sight. And where he had stood lay a glittering heap of gold and jewels. The girl started to run away, but the bear called after them, "Stop, Snow White and Rose Red!" Don't be afraid. Why, it's our bear," said Snow White, and she ran to him and kissed him. And the heap of jewels flowed over the bear, and the rough coat fell away, and the bear became a handsome prince. I've been under the spell of the wicked dwarf," he said, "but you kissed me, and set me free." But if you will not marry me, Snow White, I would rather be a bear again. But Snow White did marry the prince, and Rose Red married his brother, and the mother came to live with them all. And the rose trees that had stood before the cottage now stood before the palace, and forever bloomed with beautiful flowers, Snow White and Rose Red.